Greetings, friends, and welcome to a fun little Christmas build. Making a gingerbread man today, and right away on my website down below, you will find the template for this. You can expand this or make it smaller depending on what you want to do. The size that it is on the actual file is perfectly sized for these foam exercise mats because we're making this thing out of EVA foam. So once you got it all together, trace it, put it onto your, your sheet of EVA like so, trace around it, and you didn't need to cut out two. This is double colored, so I'm doing the side that's actually brown and not finished, so it's easier to paint. But anyways, I'm gonna be sticking these together and I'm gonna be putting them through the bandsaw, so I'm cutting them both at the same time. I'm gonna go do that and you'll be along for the ride. See you in a few. Okay, now I'm going to be cutting this foam into strips and it, you can cut as many as you need. I'm gonna cut five, I can always come back and do more. Back here, I've got a board set at a certain depth so I can, you can do this with a knife, but I'm doing it with my bandsaw. And if the sound is bad, I'm sorry, it's cold out here and I don't wanna go grab my earphones or my, not earphones, my headphones. So I'm gonna cut these down and you can see on just how nice this works with a bandsaw. Now you're gonna take the three inch foam and you're going to be using rubber cement or contact cement and attaching it along the edge here. And all you're gonna do is you do one piece at a time and you can see how I did this. I did the head first and I left the edges on because what it's gonna do is it's gonna add support to the center here. Came through and because the length only reaches to here, I made a joint right there, brought it through and left this all together. So. It goes right up and creates support right through the middle so you don't have an issue with the foam collapsing, which can be an issue with EVA. Anyways, I'm showing you this quickly because I forgot to record and I got carried away and now I've got the rubber cement on this, the rubber cement on this and drying. If I didn't record this little portion, I would have had to explain why it's all together and you have no idea what I did. Anyways, there we go. All right, our gingerbread is now together. Uh, it's come out really good, and it's really resilient. I love this thing. Um, all I pretty much did is I used a heat gun to smooth out the surface. You'll have less of this because for some reason, my mats, because they've been together for so long, have transferred that texture to both sides. And then all I did is I used a screwdriver to poke little holes in it to make it look like gingerbread. Pretty complicated. So if I actually look really closely. Oh, no. They didn't. Uh, I was wondering if the cross head on it still uh, showed up. Anyways, all I did here is I used a Dremel with a sanding drum on it to round out these edges and clear it up. I was going to bring you for the ride, but it's cold outside and I didn't want to set up the camera. I was shivering by the time I finished this thing. I really need a heated garage here. And anyway, so I went through, got it all done, and this is the gingerbread man all put together. And it's really resilient. I was playing a game with the girls uh, last night where we were throwing it in you know, with a pop bottle, you're trying to get him to stand up. We were throwing him across the room, trying to make him stand up on his feet. He's trying to toss them. I did it once. I feel very proud of that. Anyways, I'm going to go put a base coat of dark brown on this now, and we'll talk about what we're going to do for the rest of it to finish off our little gingerbread man here. See you in a few. All right. So if you see out there, that's where I don't want to be. Currently, it is minus 33 with a wind chill of minus 48 degrees Celsius. It is absolutely perishing out there, but thank goodness I'm in here working on a gingerbread man. Paint is on. Interestingly enough, one of my uh, bargain bin mist tints was a brown, it was called an enamel stain. Weirdest paint I have ever worked with. Really nice coverage after a couple of coats, but before that, it's kind of odd. Yeah, so anyways. Once you've got it to this point with a nice coat on it, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to dry brush it with a mix of cashmere tan and espresso. 
The espresso is going to go first just to give it a good base coat around the edges. And then the cashmere tan is going to go do some highlights. Then after that, we're going to start icing this thing. So I'm going to get this dry brushing done. If you'd like to know how to do dry brushing, there's a little video up here that will walk you through it. Anyways, onwards and upwards. And say hello to my little finished gingerbread man. Well, painted finished. Now we just have to make them all happy and festive and decorated. Now, what you want to do with decorations here is up to you. It's literally a gingerbread man. You can carve EPS styrofoam gumdrop buttons. You can do everything else. What I'm going to only do is I'm going to be using some acrylic latex caulk with a decent sized opening and I'm icing the, the, the gingerbread man. Since I have one shot at this, this may look absolutely horrible, but you know what? Let's do it. Okay. Just gonna get a bit going there. And then, caulking is always one of those things that, and you gotta be careful because it may not want to stick. So what you do is you just have fun. You're not gonna get it perfect, but you know, no gingerbread man really is. I'm gonna go with like a beaded look around the edge for the icing. And if you can, run the direction that you're going because it'll give you the best look. So anyways, you see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna shut up and just ice with caulking. And thus wraps up the gingerbread man. As you can see, it, the uh, caulking works out brilliantly to make that icing. You can go as far as you want and making these look as cute as you want, adding like all different color buttons. I just went with white because that's what I felt like. Now, the great thing about this design is when you build it, oh, let's see if I can get this with one hand. You have the option of making both sides something completely different. And as you see, our little gingerbread man suddenly became the ginger dead man. Anyways, it's a fun little project. You can use this for doing more stuff than just doing a gingerbread man, but I did it with this. Anyways, thanks so much for uh, watching, guys and gals. It's been a fantastic year. I've had a great amount of fun. Changing it up a little bit in the spring because I want to do some larger projects. But we're going to see if the weather outside cooperates with me. A big thank you to all my subscribers, my viewers. A big thank you to my patrons who have helped me out all this year. You guys are fantastic. And uh, yeah, look forward to more of my special brand of insanity. Because yeah, everything keeps on going. Oh, and I was going to speak about that in the new year. Anyways, talk to you all later. Have a good one all.